Right, guys, welcome to Electron FX. Right, and today we'll be talking about the fractal nature of price. All right, but I know most of us have heard us say people say that the market has a fractal nature and all of that, but today we'll be examining that fractal nature of price. Okay, um, when we say price has a fractal nature, it means that um, the market exists like an onion with several resembling features. That means um, if you look at an onion, it has a layer, the same kind of layer inside, that same kind of layer inside, that same kind of layer, they all look alike, all right? So this is the kind of behavior that the market exhibits. It has a fractal nature. That means what you will find on the um, larger compartment, you also find it on the smaller compartment. That means what you find on the daily, you will most likely find it on the weekly, and you will find it on the monthly, you will find it on the one hour, you find it on the 15 minutes, you find it on um, any time frame of your choice, all right? So that is the fractal nature of price. Price exists in a fractal nature. And um, the, with the knowledge of this, um, I know that you have heard that saying, which says that um, you should stick to the time frame of your choice. You will hear people say, um, I trade four hours. Some people will say, I trade 15 minutes. And some people will say, I trade one minute. Some people will say, I trade four hours and all of that. That is that is um, based on the concept of the fractal nature of price, right? So since we have known that market has a fractal nature, it now gives us the ability to choose the time frame which is well suited for us. Like those that those people that are swing traders, they will go with the bigger time frames. Why? Because the bigger time frame um, actually covers a lot of distance, right? And it is better for those that are busy. Maybe you don't have time to come to check charts every moment and all of that. So they stick to these bigger time frames. And one thing you should know that um, a trend on a small time frame um, is usually very brief. Like maybe you find a break of structure on the five minutes, uh, most likely that trend may not last so much, all right? So you, you to um, maximize your trading with the knowledge of a um, factor nature of price, all right, you could take um, maybe in that trade in that day trades with your smaller time frames. Then if you want to go um, for a long trade, you use something like the weekly, daily, or the four hour, all right? So um, if, it, for instance, look at this market. This market is forming um, lower high, lower high. Uh, this was the last lower high, and then it's something like the double bottom, all right? So this market has been bearish. Um, this is the four hour, right? You can see the market forming lower high, lower high, lower high, and all of that. Now, if you check this time frame, all right, I'm going to explain the fractal nature of price. If you check this time frame on the one hour, all right, if you check this chart on the one hour, um, you, and I bet you will find this kind of structure, this same kind of thing, all right? Look at this is the one hour now. You can see, see the same thing. You can see lower high. You see lower high, lower high, um, lower high, um, lower high, okay? Lower high, because price closed below, all right? So we have seen the same thing happening on the on the um on the one hour all right this is to um, still elaborate the point that price has a fractal nature price has a fractal nature okay so if you scale down to even the 15 minutes let's go to 15 minutes i tell you you see the same kind of stuff there all right, you will still find the same kind of structure, the same movement pattern and all of that, all right? So this is what will help you to maximize your trading. All right, this is 15 minutes time frame now. Um, yeah, let me zoom out a bit. Sorry, let me zoom out so you can see clearly what's happening, all right? Balance, balance, balance here. Okay. So, right. Right. So now this is our um, fifteen minutes time frame. Right. This is our 15 minutes time frame. This is our 15 minutes time frame. Now, look at what's happening in 15 minutes. The market is bearish, right? We can see um, the market form, all right? It formed, uh, there was some kind of um, high, low, 
hello i was kind of kind of break a stretch somewhere around there all right so the market formed a lower high lower high lower high lower high lower high all right this was the last lower high so uh, the market came up here from another lower high took price down all right okay now this is the last lower high came down all right and then it came up from the lower high which came back up and still took price down so this is the last lower high based on this structure now have you seen what i've been saying we could find this same kind of repeated patterns on the smaller time frames all right so this gives you the idea that uh markets exist the what you can find in the big time frame is what you also find on the small time frame and this will enable you to maximize your trading why because um if you are a scalping trader you can always find structure on the 50 minutes and the same way you trade the 15 minutes is the same way you trade the daily and the weekly just that on the bigger time frames you may need to use a larger stop loss all right because um the weeks can be so long and all of that and it takes a lot of time for market structure on the bigger time frame to form all right so yeah, the same way you can use your Fibonacci to maybe want to catch this sell trade, right? You draw your Fibonacci to from um sorry, All right? It, it sorry, okay. So you draw your Fibonacci to from the last um yeah, this is the last lower high, from the last lower high down to the east. Can you see this? I can see what happened. The price came and tapped the um 78.6 area or let's say 71.8. And you can see that it sold down. All right. So this same concept applies to various time frames. What you can do with the 15 minutes is what you can do on the four hour. What you can do on the four hour is what you can do on the 15 minutes. The same pattern. All right. And the importance of this, all right. The importance of this is number one, the importance. Of rise route nature, right? The importance of this is that number one, um, you can trade with a time, frame, right? You can trade with a time frame of your choice all right so the important they can trade with the time frame of your choice right if you are a person who don't like trading for long you can stick with the 15 minutes and all the smaller time frames then if a person that likes um holding trades maybe like holding trade for days for weeks you can stick with the 15 minutes because the same thing that applies there all right so another point is that um you can trade with the time frame most suitable for your activities. All right. Yes, I imagine that maybe you are a worker. All right. You work. You go to work every morning. All right. So you can trade with maybe the four hour or let's say the daily, all those time frames that um, take time, all right? You don't need to be checking your charts every moment because um, price hardly breaks structure on the um, daily. It hardly breaks structure on the four hour. But you will find a BOS so often on smaller time frames like 15 minutes, you always find a break of structure to break or break down one minute. Now, some people some people even trade one minute time frame. And those are um, scalp trades, all right? You use one minute to catch on the scalp trade, five minutes, 15 minutes, 13 minutes, so those um, sharp trades, all right? So this is the importance of, the, these are the two major importance of price factor nature. You can trade with the time frame of your choice, all right? And the third, the third importance is that it gives, all right? Um, little draw down entries, all right. Now, for instance, you notice that the market is uh, bearish on the bigger time frame, all right. The market is bearish on the bigger time frame, all right. Instead of you to just use daily and enter your trade, you can scale down to the maybe the 15 minutes and wait for that lower high to form on maybe 15 minutes or five minutes. It will give you a little drawdown entry, 
All right, so you don't need to enter with the daily week and to take out your stop loss and then you begin to cry and say, ah, but I analyze this trade. Yes, you analyze it right, but price has a price nature. So you should use the smaller time frames to give you that little drawdown entry. And now the final importance of this is that it helps you know the big major um, move of the market all right so when you scale to your four hour your daily and you uh, understand the major move of the market all right with the price factor nature you know that this market is bullish maybe from the monthly all right now we have known the the major move of the market so what you do is that you come to your smaller type of maybe one hour and try to enter buy trades with one hour all right since price has a factor nature and they all look alike that means if the market is bullish on daily that means the market has to somehow somehow align to be bullish on the smaller time frame so you wait for the market to go bullish or maybe the 15 minutes and then you take your trade all right so this is uh, the four major importance of the factor nature of price these are the a four major importance you can trade with the time frame of your choice you can trade with the time frame most stable for your activities it gives you a little bit of evidence and it helps you to know the major move of the market all right so um this in the next class all right in the next class i'll be talking about um the continuation of this i will talk about more simple time frame analysis all right this is what i'm talking about in the next class multiple time frame analysis it will help you i talk about the price factor nature here so in the next um this thing we'll be talking about multi time frame analysis how to combine this thing to better your trading i told you that um the market has a factor nature so now how can you apply this factor nature of price to maximize the trading experience so that's what i'll be talking about in the next class so um i think maybe in the next two days or three days i'll be dropping the video all right please do well to subscribe all right subscribe to our channel subscribe and like the video and like this video if you really enjoyed it all right subscribe and like this video okay and uh, yeah finally um if you want to enroll for our mentorship you want to enroll our mentorship all right you want to refer mentorship do what to contact me all right i've talked about the mentorship several in our previous video all right you have the beginner course all right the beginner course we have the beginner course we have the master course all right the beginner course is where we take a new trader people that need to for us we hold you by their hand and teach you everything you need to know because if you uh the, the forest is actually very wide if you want to just go and begin to learn random information, you get hurt because you don't have the equity or to try everything. So what we do that we bring out the most important thing and we teach you that. All right. So that is it about our beginner course and the master course to teach you the advanced concept of trading. Those things that you are not really um familiar with, those things that will help you to maximize your trading. All right. We're teaching you things, things like um the smart money, all right. We're teaching you the um them trading, we're teaching you how to make um how to um better your entries all right we teach you a lot of things that is what commercial course cover harmonics and all of that all right so if you want to register for our course do well to send an email to electronglobal.com sorry at gmail.com or you hit the whatsapp link below to register for our course all right um, um we have already started yes we have started already we have started already our students have already said have your results all right we have started sharing the results already we have started already we have started already all right i have started already all right so you can just do what to join all right so just hit the link hit all right hit the link below to register okay just hit the link below to register or email election global right at gmail.com okay so you can if you want to register uh, do well to um, hit the link below uh, or email a little bit about our beginner course course for 25 dollars our master course goes for um we have brought it down to um i brought it down to it's, uh, it goes for 70 dollars right but if you want both of them right if you want both of them we'll give you a discount of um, $30 or uh, about. So you'll be paying for $60 if you want boots, right? 
if we want both of them, right? So if we want both of them, one both of our courses begin now, that's we go for a discount, right? Of sixty dollars, right? So this is the discount price for one bit of our courses, right? So um, do I to watch our next video? It's becoming a very so. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Right. Goodbye.